Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I have another unboxing for you guys. So I have to admit, I really did enjoy unboxing that uh, that seven knife package that my good friend Dilo sent me last week for you guys. So I thought today I would do another one. This is one that I ordered, and um, this is one that I have you guys to thank for it. Now, as you know, through the growth of my channel has come, you know, the whole Google AdSense benefits and everything. So, so I, you know, I, I am actually making a little revenue from this channel now, which is really awesome. And I promised from the get go that I would be putting this revenue back into the channel, um, you know, picking up some knives that I think you guys would like to enjoy and knives that maybe not everyone like people would be on the fence about. They're like, oh, should I do I really want to spend the money on this knife? And I think this was a really good one to do it with. It's one that I have been super excited and curious about for quite a while now. And I thought, you know what? I, I'm lucky enough. I'm fortunate enough. I'm just going to pick one up and uh, let everyone know what I think of it. So let's get right into it. Let's see what we got here. Today we're going to be unboxing it with the Spyderco Little Native in S90V. One of the uh, one of the knives that came from the DLO package. So we will uh, cut into this and see what we got here. I, I have to say, I've been really curious about this knife um, for a long, long time. It is not a cheap knife. Um, this knife, well, I don't want to say the price because then that might help give it away. And the thumbnail of this video will probably help narrow it down quite a bit. I'm sure um, a lot of people saw that this is a Jake Hoback knife. <coughs> Um, Jake Hobeck is an American knife designer, and uh, he has some pretty sweet designs. And this is one that I really think was worth checking out. And uh, I've always thought his his work in general was pretty unique, um, all the way to the packaging. And as you can see, here's the box. So these are what Jake Hobeck knives come in. And that's pretty sweet. That's just very different. It's a really cool wooden box with his... His brand name uh, burned into the top with kind of like a, an ax there. Super sweet. I don't want to show the size because that'll give it away. But I'm going to give it away right now. Let's take a look at it. Oh, still don't know what it is. What is this? Uh, that probably gives it away. A Sumo. So yes, what we have here is the Jake Hoback Sumo. And let's take a look at it now. That really did kind of give it away. Oh, well. I'm still excited. I'm very excited to see this knife right here. Let's see. I guess that is why they put the cutout down there. So we'll put the knife down here and we will set this aside. This is, I have to say, this is definitely the coolest packaging I've ever seen for, for a knife. That only means so much, but that is, uh, that's pretty sweet. And it actually, it feels like, I feel like it's pretty good quality. I'm definitely going to keep this and use it for something else. Um, of course, storing the knife too. But here we go. Now, one important thing to know about this, guys, is this is American made. This was made in America. And I I, I just assumed it was a Chinese made knife. Um, shame on me, I guess. But no, this was made in the USA. So it was another ring. This was really a, one of the convincing factors for me to pick this up. I thought that was really cool. You don't hear about a lot of knives being made in America at this price range outside of, you know, the, the the upper tier designers and stuff. So many people run stuff through Riot now. So it's it's really cool that this was made in the USA. I will say there's a little bit of weight to it. This feels like it's about, I don't know, four and a half ounces. Well, I'll give a full weight and all the real accurate description during, uh, during my actual review of it. Um, blade centering is perfect. Really like that. Um, I, I really like the finish of this because as fidgety of a knife as this was, I didn't want to get the satin blade. Let's see how it goes. This is what I've been really worried about right here. This is what I'm not sure about. How, how am I going to like this flipper? Let's see. First flip. Okay. So it's definitely a different flip. You have to, I mean, I feel like this isn't a dedicated flipper though. This isn't a flipper first knife. Um, it's a button lock. It very smooth action there. Thumb studs are sweet. How does it middle finger flick? Very, very nice. Ergos are good. Boy, I tell you what. So this pocket clip, I was really worried about this pocket clip too, because look how much it sticks out. I mean, it is. this is not a quiet pocket clip. This, in the placement of it and everything, I was worried that this would really be digging into my palm. But right here... I, 
<laughs> I have zero complaints. I am shocked to say that I have absolutely zero complaints. Um, now, obviously, I'm not making cuts. I'm not really pushing through anything. But just squeezing it in my hand, it falls literally. When it's in my hand, this crease, it's right in this crease right here. It, it's, I think that's pretty amazing, to be honest. I think that feels really good. I'm, okay, I'm really kind of shocked right now. I was expecting this to have a bit of a hot spot with the clip. So right there, I'm very happy. Um, very drop shutty. Yeah. I like the action. That The detent isn't the crispest. It's not like super, it's, I mean, it's, it's going to take some getting used to. This is another reason why I don't like doing unboxings. Because things like this, you have to you have to understand where to place your finger, where to do a lot of this stuff. Um, the cutout here is very easy to use. It's very easy to get your fingernail in there and kick it out with authority. Very, very easy there. So, so no issue with the cutout. Um, I am going to have to get used to these thumb studs, which I actually kind of like the way they... The way the whole knife comes together when it's open. I mean, if you look at this, there's no real gaps. The thumb studs sit together. Um, this back backspacer is wicked. Super sweet backspacer. Um, you have a really nice lock up there with the button lock in there. And as you guys all know, you move that down and the blade closes. Uh, very drop shitty action. Guillotine action. Perfect centering. Absolutely perfect centering. And regular thumb deployment is good. So I, I definitely still have some fidgeting and some getting used to with this knife. But I've got to say, first impressions are pretty positive. I was really worried about this pocket clip. I was really worried about that flipper tab, which, I mean, you're not going to get the snappiest reaction on flipping this knife unless you go straight down. Okay, so you got to go straight down with your, with your fingernail, and it comes out. And then you hit this at the end. It's not the best flipping knife, but I wasn't expecting this to be a dedicated flipping knife. I just wasn't. I, I was I was more inclined to use the middle finger flick anyway. Um, you have a 3.25 inch blade on this guy, and it feels like it comes down to a decent edge. It's not going to be the thinnest blade in the world, but I got to put it under some calipers and see exactly what it comes down to. But I got to say, that might be a little surprising there. I'm not sure. Um, I will include that in my full review of this knife as well. But I tell you what, I am not... So this was the most expensive knife I've ever bought that I was really nervous about not being satisfied with. Usually, So this knife was $550. Um, again, thank you to my subscribers and all my supporters. You guys are the reasons that I'm able to show you stuff like this. So again, thank you everyone for your support. Um, I'm not disappointed. And I'm not... I'm I'm pretty happy with this. The fact that it's made in the USA too. I gotta say, you guys, I, I always say, you know, quality is dependent on effort, not location. A lot of people say that. I fully agree with it. But there is a special amount of, you know, I think there's an extra little element of enjoyment when you know um, a product you enjoy is made in the country you live in. As long as you're, you know, proud to live in your country. And I am. I'm, I love the United States. I'm, I'm a very proud American. So so it does add an extra little layer of enjoyment to know that this came from the United States. This was manufactured in the United States. And I do enjoy that. It's, I, I take pride in knowing that it wasn't made by Riot. No offense to Riot. I love them. They're a great company. But uh, to know that American designers are making their own their own products, own knives within uh, within the U.S. is pretty cool. So that's nice. And the fact that it's 550 did make me nervous because I just wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure if this clip was going to be a disaster or this flipper was going to be a nightmare. Um, and again, I, I don't think it's a nightmare. Um, it, it's really what I thought it was. It's kind of like the uh, Denny Green's quote on the Bears. It, it was what I thought it was. And it's it's pretty good. You know, it's I'll, I'll have a, a much better, um, a much better final final conclusion, final determination of what I think about this flipper tab in my full review. But I have to say right now, I I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. Um, I can see this being a fidget beast um, as long as something unexpected doesn't happen, but really like the middle finger flick. Um, really like how you can just roll it out with your thumb. And it's a nice four finger grip for the most part. Just barely getting that fourth finger in there, but it feels secure, it feels good. That pocket clip is not bothering me one bit. 
I think if you have wider palms, I think you're going to enjoy this knife. At least I am. I, I do have, you know, relatively wide hands. Um, not the thickest hands, but just kind of wide. And I think the width of my palm really helps with, with this clip. But overall, just a pretty stunning design. I really love the lines on this knife. Um, I did, I'm did. i really glad I got this heavy stone wash blade because as much as my fingers are going to be touching this blade, I didn't want to have fingerprints all over it for a satin blade. I thought this was definitely the way to go. And I'm really happy about that. Like the minimal blade branding there, you just got Hoback. And then uh, PS23, not sure what that is. Not sure what that stands for. But regardless, this is 20 CV steel. This is a pretty nice knife, guys. I'm really excited to bring you guys a, a full review of this here. Uh, probably in about a week, probably a week out, maybe a little longer. Um, I've got a real busy week coming up, so we'll, we'll, we'll see when I get to it, but there will be a full review of this coming and, uh, unboxing has been uh, very positive, very, very positive. So let me know what you guys think of this. Um, again, thank you to all my subscribers for your support. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until the next one, I'm out.